What's going on guys and gals? Hey, we're gonna do another quick um, recipe here with sauce meat. I did sauce meat last time and it came out really good, don't get me wrong. But each piece of sauce meat that I ate, I ended up finding a little piece of pig foot bone. So this time instead of using pig feet, I'm gonna use pig ears. And we'll see how it comes out. We changed the recipe up just a little bit. So if you like sauce meat anyway and you kinda wanna make your own, this is just an alternative. Sauce meat ain't healthy. I ain't trying to be healthy. And I don't eat it all at one time, but I do like the taste of it. All right, here are our ingredients. We got about five pounds of neck bones, pork neck bones. We got about five pounds of pig ears. We got two whole onions here, a quarter cup of minced garlic. We've got um, half a cup of salt, about a fourth of a cup of pepper, then we got our spices, which is just mustard, dill wheat, chili powder, lemon peel, red pepper, ground ginger, coriander. You can also use this right, this pickling spice, a quarter of a cup of this right here, but I didn't like all the big old peppercorns in there the last time. Um, then we've got our apple cider vinegar, and that's actually half, one cup of apple cider vinegar and one cup of distilled vinegar. Okay, we're going to put everything in our large pot right here. I'm going to add our garlic here. I'm going to add our dry spices. I had a little bit of water in there already, so it's, it's kind of boiling. Then we're going to add our onion. I'm going to have to do this two-handed, so give me a second. Okay, you try to do things kind of economical, so I put things on paper plates, but the onions were kind of, um, they were kind of wet until the plate got wet. Then we're gonna add our apple cider vinegar and distilled vinegar here. And then we'll just top it off, the rest of it with water. Alrighty, we're gonna bring that to a boil and it will boil until it's tender. Usually it's gonna be about three or four hours. All right, it's been about five hours, four and a half, five hours, and um, everything has kind of separated. I've used a, a little um, straining type of, of spoon to get the majority of the uh, rest of the um, meat in here and onions and things like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that come to room temperature and then we're gonna separate the bones and um, all the all the uh, stuff that's not edible and then we're going to start to make our mold. Alrighty, we separated the meat from the bones. The bones are over there. and This is a tedious process guys. You have to really go through this and filter out all of those little pieces of bone. Now we're going to chop this up and then we're going to add a little bit of vinegar back to it and add some of the fat uh, back to it as well. All right, we chopped it all up and then we kind of mashed it down so it's kind of in a mold look here. I'm going to take some apple cider vinegar and just, just because, you know, sauce meat has to have that vinegary taste. So we just want to add some apple cider vinegar to it here. And then we're going to take some more of the actual juice that we cooked it in. Try not to get any bones in there. And this is what's going to help you form the mold. This is just fat, pretty much. And it's going to congeal on top of it. You just want to put it till it's just covering. And stick this in the refrigerator, and tomorrow morning, we'll have us some sauce meat. Alright, that's probably good enough right there. Like I said, this is not healthy by any means. Alrighty, it's been overnight. Everything has congealed and solidified. Now, the question is, how does it taste? So let's taste a piece. Alrighty, it's nice and firm. Looks real good. I still bit into a darn bone. I called myself, it tastes delicious now, don't get me wrong. I called myself picking out all the bone, but I still bit into a bone. 
Ugh, can't win for losing. It still comes out good. It tastes like sauce meat. You know what's in it because you put it in there and didn't have any preservatives or anything like that. Again, this is comfort food. This is not something you want to eat every day. It's going to take me probably three or four weeks to eat, or three weeks. Well, let's be truthful. Two weeks to eat this plant pan of um of sauce meat. Um, but it will get eaten. So try it with pig ears. You just have to be you have to be tedious about picking out those doggone bones. Take care.